So six minutes to decide the destination of gold. Will it be Chelyabinsk? Or will it be Phuket Island where she's from? Karstajin shifting forward with that front leg. Likewise, Kudashova straight in there. Good shot from Thailand. Yeah, definitely a direct sneaky stab. Really nice point. Scores quite easy on the body armor. Always, every athlete can do it. So says the world champion, making it look easy. Everyone tries, but Harstajin does it again. Good tactic. And a great start against Kudashova, who's beginning to spring into life now. Shot on the inside. Trying to work away in the clinch. And of course, Bradley, you've been around Taekwondo long enough to see the development of that, that clinch game. It's so important now. Yeah, 100%. It's when it first came into play, you always saw so people dinking and um, always really tight, but that got banned. So then pushing, like, a really main part of the game. A lot of physical getting hands on, being able to work and use both legs to cut out each other. Yeah, and we saw Great Britain's Bianca Walton use that to great effect within the confines of the rules. Pushed and pulled and produced a gold. And at the moment, Harstajin of Thailand doing pretty well here. Halfway through this first round, Kudashova yet to find her rhythm. Good shot in the inside, though. Yeah, like I said, throwing from tight to get a really strong hands on, find that back leg body. It's a great tactic. Tries it again, well blocked with the legs there from Harstajin. A change of stance as well. Could have show, but leaves a space though there. A lazy little headshot plops onto the head. As a fight breaks out in the middle now. Yeah, definitely. Like we said earlier, when you do take a shot to the head, you need to be 100% focus, and if you don't, points to rack up on the board. And rack up they do as we move towards the last 10 seconds. Now seven of a difference. And it was that nice and relaxed style. Decent attempt from a back kick there from Kudashova looking for that four-point kick. But it points towards a very strong start from Thailand. You can tell that like, the, the cogs are working in the brain. She doesn't know how what point she's going to come and doesn't have a dominant game plan to score. Where Thailand, like, panic pack is the same. All calm, composed, they know exactly what they're going to do and they go out there and do the game plan right. Speaking of game plans, you know, obviously work closely with Martin Stamper. Do you determine a game plan before you go in? Do you have a loose plan? So I always have a name who the crowd are supporting. But they can't get down there and score the points. And it's Harstagen physically dominant. And Team Thailand always in top class condition. Used to do a lot of training camps in Korea, but now they're at a level where they bring the Koreans to them. Headshot just flicking past there. Good blocks on the inside chop kick. Better from Kudashova. A bit more intent now. Yeah, definitely. You can see what our coach has been telling us. You need to be more intent with every shot. So nail every shot in. And then the opportunities have come from that. She's been unlucky with some. A lot of holding there from Harston Jing. Gets away with it. Referee on the blind side. Good match management. Headshot lands nicely. And it's that accuracy. And also looking for the gam job as well. Perhaps for holding. Yep, indeed. Che Young Suk, the Thai coach, going to play that card. And obviously, while we have the little video review, the, the gam jump, yeah, for holding and pulling over, it won't make too big a difference on the score. But in terms of training camps, what was your preparation for the World Championships? Um, for the boys, boys and girls are different. For GB, the game. My promise is, but the reason I asked for that is because Team Thailand used to travel to Korea all the time, and now they're own bed. You come to your own training times. You don't have to adapt for them. Absolutely, the home comforts, but no real comfort. For Team Thailand, card gone. But it was the athlete that told the coach to play it. She felt that she was grabbed. The punch there almost sliding down the protector, but no real pop on a headshot firing in there. You see, so calm and composed. Like It's amazing for people to be able to do that in the ring. If I try doing my best, just stay chilled, be able to stick to your game plan, just find the shots, and you can see her doing the exact same. But as you see, she's very much in training mode here, just calm and cool. But Kudashova trying to ruffle it up here on the inside. But 17 to 3. But we saw a dominant win from Zhao Shui in the under 63 kilogram final. It's equally so here in this one. Better from Kudashova though. Yeah, you see it's a nice little 
shift into the clinching knife body shot, which needs to step up a game and keep pushing that pace, pushing that pace off and try and find points. As you see, trying to find those points, but finding Hastagin in fine form, holding the centre back leg again. Well blocked this time from Tatiana Kudashova. She's fought hard to get here. Doesn't want to settle for silver. Tries with a back kick. She's got that in her armory. The last 10 seconds now of the second round. Back legs from both. And sometimes they don't score, but they give your opponent something to think about. And she'll have time in which to think about it. As we go into the dying stages of this second round, you can see for yourself the scores on the board. And it's Thailand. Dominic. I think she's super composed and picking her shots right every time. She's direct high, direct stab. Then shooting back leg, she's got multiple options to throw. Then you see that fake back leg body straight to the face. Um, really great technique. And not just the flexibility in the outs, a similar story here. Tatiana Kudashova. Going to have to work super hard to get into double figures here. Good punch from the Russian, though. No love from the judges so far. Nice straight back leg, reverse tonic kick in terms from the Russian. Trying for the five-point score, goes with the chop. No shortage of effort, Bradley. No, definitely. We're here to give, give everything we've got. I die trying, we'll go there to win the gold, and that's what she's trying to do. She's going to give everything to try and push this fight to the end. Fighting to the finish there, back leg tonic kick pops off the protector again for Harstagen. A familiar story. As I said on the way into this one, won the Southeast Asian Games, which might not be that well known in terms of competition, but within that, some formidable teams to go against. So she knows how to fight in multi-sport competitions. Here at the pinnacle, the World Championships. As her belts come slightly loose but she's not going to have to let loose too much more often as we move towards the last minute now of this third round. You can see she's just so chilled, so calm, composed, just find her shots and so confident just to find, like, pick off opponents. And she has indeed picked off her opponents here. Tadako and Akudashova couldn't have done much more. She hasn't done too much wrong. Great block on the inside, as you'd called before there. Punch on the way through from the Russian. Tremendous fighting spirit from her. She'll generate the gam jump. But you would venture that it's a silver now for Russia. And a clear path now to gold for Thailand. Back kick lands low. But a gold medal will help that pain. Having a little look at her coach just to see. Help me. But little can be done now. 30 seconds or so left in this final. Yeah, definitely. I can't see anything changing where, except Thailand maybe scoring a few more points because when people rush at the end, especially when tired emotions come, everything normally wraps up against you. But you give everything. You don't. It don't matter if you lose by close or you lose by a lot. It's a loss is a loss. So speaks the champ. And into the last 20 seconds, Fanapa Harstajin of Thailand, really in command now. Nice little shuffle, close of distance as well, and she's closing in on her first ever World Championship title. She's got the quality, and she has got the gold medal as well. Kudashova, it's all over for her, silver for Russia, despite the gam jump. It's a super gold for Thailand. Well, she doesn't show much emotion usually. It's a lovely moment here when you get to celebrate with your coach. I saw you giving Martin a big, big up in that one. Yeah, definitely. Like championship title. It's rare that you get a final, Bradley, where it's never really in doubt. Yeah, that's the thing about Taekwondo. Even though most finals, like, it could go either way. Sometimes, like the next time these fight, it could be so close. It's happened before, and it'll happen again. Where, but on one day you could concede one shot and it sends into a spiral and you lose a match from that. Momentum so important. Silver for Russia. A foot in the face and a hand on the gold. Fanapa Harsnagin on top of the world.